solar storm could could disrupt communications, the power grid, and satellite operations tonight. Yeah, this amazing storm is created by explosions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona. People as far south as, as Alabama could get a glimpse of the northern lights during this powerful storm. Yeah, I had a chance to speak to Dr. Brian Mendez about this rare phenomenon. He's astronomer and planetarium director at UC Berkeley's Lawrence Hall of Science. Dr. Mendez, uh, so what exactly is a solar storm? What makes this particular storm so unique? Uh, so the sun has magnetic fields that um, come through its surface. They create sunspots. Um, and those magnetic fields that make those sunspots are very strong and they're very dynamic. Uh, the sun is this, you know, broiling, uh, rolling, um, hot, ionized gas that's always in motion. And it uh, kind of twists those magnetic fields up, and there's a lot of energy that gets stored in them as they twist. And then when they quickly move and unravel, they uh, move matter around. And we call that a, a generally, we call it a solar storm. But the one that we're seeing right now is kind of special, is it's coming from an enormous sunspot uh, group, one that kind of is the largest we've seen in a long time, perhaps uh, decades and has produced a lot of these solar flares and coronal mass ejections, which were aimed at Earth, right? Lots of times these things blast off, they don't end, uh, they, don't, they don't come toward Earth. But uh, this one happened to be kind of pointed right at us when it went off. And uh, so we have this like uh, sequence of, uh, of different um, uh, expanding shells of, uh, of solar material that are impacting Earth's magnetic field. And as that hits Earth, how can that impact communications? Can it impact our cell phones, uh, potentially our power grid? All of those things are possible. Earth's magnetic field will start to move and shake as a response to that impact. And then that, in turn, has influences on Earth's um, own uh, atmosphere and even the surface. The most visible thing of that is that we can see auroras. You touched on the positive side, and that, of course, is the aurora and, and those northern lights. Mostly you can see them up, up north. Uh, but will we be able to actually see them here in California? Uh, right now, the predictions are that it's a, a strong maybe, I'll say. <laughs> um, the, uh, the auroral oval is uh, um, pretty dynamic, and we don't know exactly how strong a storm is going to be until we're actually kind of in it. Your chances are better if you're out in the countryside with not a lot of city lights. So, so head up north and find a dark spot. Okay, Dr. Mendez, <laughs> thank you very much. Always good information from the Lawrence Hall of Science. Thank you very much for joining us.